One of the must-see must shows this season is Trouble in Mind. Yeah, and while it might have taken 64 years to make it to Broadway, it's definitely making its mark. And here with more details is star Michael Zegan. Welcome back, Michael. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. So for those who aren't familiar with this Alice Childress uh, work, yeah. tell us a little bit about the plot and about your character, Al Manners. Well, uh, the play is a, it's, it's about a play. It's about right. this uh, cast of actors uh, rehearsing for this new play on Broadway. And uh, I play the director, Al Manners, and he's uh, from Hollywood. And this is his Broadway debut as well. And he thinks he's doing something groundbreaking, um, but the actors in the cast are, are kind of lamenting the fact that they're sort of relegated to, to black stereotypes. Right, right. Well, the show is back, right? It, it originally was on Off-Broadway, yeah. 55, but the themes of like race, identity, ego, and in and around the theater scene, still pretty relevant today. Absolutely. How much of the story were you familiar with, or even Alice's work before? None of it. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I had never heard of Alice Childress. I had never heard of the play. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to say so because yeah. now I, I, I sort of want to read everything that she's written when I have a spare moment. I, I'm, I'm pretty busy right now, yeah. but uh, you know eight shows a week is no joke. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I you know, it's funny because they had originally done her her this play at at a theater called the Greenwich Muse, and I live in the West Village, and yeah. I passed by this this church all the time for years and I never knew what it was it's this big white church yeah. and uh, and I did a little research and that's the Greenwich, Greenwich uh, Muse Theater that's it's where they so did cool. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it was kind of meant to be yeah and to think that this playwright she would have been the first black female playwright on Broadway mm -hmm. uh, and, and she kept it from from happening because yeah. she was so strict in her vision and 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 the integrity of the show yeah you know what do you think that teaches audiences when they're watching this well, it's, I mean, she wasn't willing to compromise. Yeah. She, uh, she stuck to her guns and, you know, it wasn't enough for her just to have a play on Broadway, despite the fact that it, she would have been the first. Right. Um, it wasn't enough. And, uh, and we're doing the show as it was meant to be seen. And I think, you know, that while that's completely admirable, it's also sort of bittersweet yeah. that it, she's not alive to see it. Yeah. Yeah, but the work will, will imp the impact of the work will remain. Right? Absolutely. You guys have been sharing a lot of behind the scenes footage on social media. Mm -hmm. I would imagine it feels good to be back yes. in the theater again. It does. It does. Uh, I was actually in a play when everything shut down. So uh, luckily we only had like a week left um, and I was kind of ready to, to get out of there. But uh, Remember no, when we all thought it I was going to be two weeks? Yeah. I know, two I know. Two weeks off and we'll be back, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And but, not. No, it's, it's incredible. I mean, the audiences have come out. We've had full houses. Um, they're laughing. I mean, this is a funny play. So yeah. uh, despite all the, the, the social issues, you know, involved with it, mm -hmm. it's a funny show. Yeah. Um, and they're laughing. They're ready. They're ready to be entertained. And, and uh, as an actor, you know, a live audience that's there for it is there's nothing better. Can I say something else, though, that we're all ready to be entertained come by on. Mrs. Maisel? Yeah. And yeah. we've yeah, all been yeah, waiting yeah. a really long time. I'm and you finished very... shooting season four. So when are we going to get to see it? I don't know. No, I, I, it's, <laughs> uh, it's soon, soon. I, I think uh, I've heard early next year. Early which is next year. early next we're, year. We're, we're it's like, hold on a we're at the end of this year. It's, it's coming soon. I, I, I you trust you me. Do, you I, you're preaching like a, to the choir. I, not like a Thanksgiving run or anything. <laughs> I, I would love that, but it, apparently Amazon had other plans, and, yeah, and yeah, gotta, early next year is what I'm hearing. Like very early next okay. year. Talk about turning Coney Island back in time. Though. I mean, amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Maisel, with Maisel, everything's amazing. Any, yeah. Anytime uh, you read it, you're like, oh, this is going to be a good one. And, and they, they cart in all the, all the background actors. There's like hundreds of people. Everybody's dressed to the nines in 1960s gear. And so um, we didn't get to ride the rides, so that was unfortunate. Right. Yeah. But, uh, and it was a little cold for Coney Island. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think taste. we filmed it in like <laughs> April or something. Oh, but yeah. yeah. Uh, but it, well, it was, it was we'll incredible. We'll be anxiously awaiting for it to come back. Me too. Time we can Deal see with. you. Trouble in Mind is playing now through January 9th at the American Airlines Theater on Broadway. For tickets and more info, visit roundabouttheater.org. Michael, so good to see you. Thank good you. Good to see you. Thank you. The stash is good on you. It's good. Yeah, I, I, I